Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, hope you guys are having a good uh, February 1st. Um, I'm on your first list, Herbert. Christian. Ronnie. Enrique. And Jonathan. Injuries. Have you guys ever got injured? <laughs> and not, oh a broke, and not a broken heart. Oh, I was going to start with that, dude. Not a broken heart. Look, like, but injuries, though. No, but, yeah. but injuries? No, none of those but either. <laughs> no, no, luckily. No. Well, I'm always safe. Injuries happen anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, anywhere. Like, I know all these, like, we're really active people. And injuries are around the corner. Like it can happen to any of us. Um, I know what. I guess I'll go first. Or oh, Herbert, go first. Any injuries that you had when you were little, or uh, when you started working out, or do you feel any un- like um, your uh, body, like you feel aches? I know. So, oh, I, let me start. Okay, sorry, sorry. Before you just keep going. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. When I was a child, my very first injury I remember is um, at when I was learning how to ride a bike. When I was re- when the tricycle wheels were coming off. Um, I was getting a head start. You know, your dad pushes you. And he he, just if you're you lucky know. enough, your dad's push you into a freeway. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't. No. <laughs> so he helped me. He guided me into the, you know, he, I had, like, he, no, it's hard to balance at first. So he pushed me. He I started. Pushed me into depression. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So why is Chris here again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he well, pushed okay. You? Yeah. He pushed me and I, I started pedaling. I thought I was doing good. And next thing you know, I forgot to steer. So eventually, um, I steered right into a tree, just like I did as an adult. I steered into. I remember a that. Pose, I was there. A post. So yeah, I guess I haven't changed that much. No, I steered into. Yeah, I steered into like a tree. I remember I flipped a little bit, and then I started bleeding a lot, crying, and I think um, that's. I actually have a scar still from that injury. Wait, Herbert, were you a, a chubby kid? I don't know. Uh, yes. No wonder. Why, we, no, why, actually, is, that, why oh, is that relevant? No, no actually, we had an earthquake. No, <laughs> well, you had an earthquake in what, 19, 2001? Uh, no, but uh, no, I, I got an injury and uh, well, yeah, I still have What the was the injury? Was it like a scratch? Was it a. It was a oh, I, I still have a scar to this day. I remember I was bleeding a lot. I was crying. Um, I think I told my mom that, why'd you marry this guy? Look what he did to me. <laughs> I was talking like this too. Uh, but it was good. Yeah. I mean, that was the first injury I remember. What about you guys? But like, okay, so after that injury, though, were you able to walk? Were you able to do Oh, stuff? no, no, I was limping. There was definitely a limp. So you're out from biking or, or yeah. cycling for a while? Uh, honestly, I don't remember how long, but I definitely stopped for a bit. But then eventually, you know, I got back. Did he ever skate? No, I was too fat to skate. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. But hold on, <laughs> hold on. I, I want to distinguish something. Are we talking about injuries or just getting hurt? Because yeah. well, I think an injury is different from getting hurt. Yeah. Just I can, I can run into a tree and I can get hurt, but that's not an injury. Well, it could do both, though. Something that... Maybe that's the craziest thing. Yeah, I mean, isn't it getting hurt being injured? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like injured, Pull like up, you, you broke up. Ch- ask Ch- Chad GPT. <laughs> no, we're not going to ask it. Like, can I say a, a true injury, not something? Uh, there you go. <laughs> so now my, Actually, yeah, what's, what's, what's my, your my trauma doesn't, isn't valid? Your trauma isn't valid. Like, okay, <laughs> but I'll talk about my, my actually injury. No, go Chris. No, no, go Chris. No, 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 go. Yeah, no. I'm, he I'm the, the guest and no, I just Chris, got cut off. You'll, you'll learn to know that this is Jonathan. It's like, oh my God, I haven't talked in a while. People want to listen to me. Nobody wants to listen to you, Jonathan. All right. Go Chris. <laughs> Chris. So cool. Go. I know you guys all remember my injury. Maybe oh, not Herbert. I know it. I, yeah. uh, I tore a tendon on my thumb working for Starbucks. You know, oh, your, your baristas work yeah. hard. People like tip them, tip them. But I basically I would carry like three, four milk gallons in like each finger in my thumb, blah, blah, blah. Damn. And then, so yeah, I'd carry three, four milk gallons in each hand. And eventually I sprained my thumb and I was like, ah, you know, being Mexican, you just spit on it. Freaking sana, sana, <laughs> culito de rano, <laughs> vapru, and, and you're big, good, you know? Big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I keep carrying milk gallons and, you know, keep going like that. And one day I just reach for my freaking like pocket or my phone. And I don't know, I tip my thumb in a certain way. It was still sprained. And yeah, my thumb just shut down. Like it literally went towards my uh, palm and... Yeah, it didn't work anymore. It got fat for like a week and I was like, oh, it'll get better. And it didn't get better. And I ended up going to the doctor and it turns out I uh, tore my uh, my extensor so tendon. Wait, so he I, has a thumbs up? Give so me a I, thumbs up. Yeah, I can't do a thumbs up. Oh, so for fuck. you guys that can't see. Wait, really? That's the extent? Yeah, yeah. So for you guys that can't see, it literally looks like I'm just bending my thumb in an L I literally shape. thought I was like, why is Chris so lazy? He doesn't even like, <laughs> finish the thumbs up. <laughs> what, <laughs> what he doesn't even finish the thumbs huh? up. Would it hurt if we fully extend it? No, no. If it, like You can fully extend it and it doesn't hurt, but I can't do it you myself. You don't have the muscle to like. Okay, hold on. I want to point out something then. So you're saying that you thought it was going to heal by itself, so you did nothing. Could you have prevented that if you would have seek aid immediately oh, okay so check it out so i thought it was gonna get better i just thought oh it's extra sprained even though i felt something shoot up my forearm Damn. uh but i ended up going to the doctor and telling them it happened at work they're like oh we'll get workers comp so i ended up going through workers comp 
And, you know, being Latino, being a young kid, they didn't believe me. I was like, I think 22 at the time. They didn't believe me. None of the doctors did. They thought I was just trying to cash out. And I was like, no, no, no. So I had to get attorney, an attorney to help me out. And then they uh, ended up doing like an ultra scan. And then the doctor was like, oh, shit, you're telling the truth. I was like, motherfucker, <laughs> like, of course. So, yeah, I go through treatment. I go through through a therapy, physical therapy and all that, steroid shots, and then not, none of that's working. Obviously, it's, like, torn. It's damaged. And then they end up sending me to a surgeon. And it was, like, every every step of the way was six weeks. They have to check with my with my attorneys and then the insurance and six weeks. So it took, like, almost, I want to say a year until I finally got to the surgery point. And then the surgeon, I asked, he told me, like, all right, cool, we'll get surgery. We're going to get surgery. We're going to remove one of your extra tendons from your wrist and move it to your thumb so you could do a thumbs up again and all that. <laughs> and then I asked him, I'm like, hey, is it worth it? And then he was like, honestly, dude, no. He's like, you're probably going to get like 30% more of your motion. So you're not even going to be able to do a full thumbs up and you're going to be in physical therapy for another maybe like six months to a year. And Damn, yeah, that's cool. I ended were up you not ever, doing it. Were you ever a thumbs up guy though? <laughs> well, only when your mom sat on it, but... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That was a good answer. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. I'm like looking, I'm like looking at the room at my friends right now. Like everyone, the, the, the real reason my thumb doesn't work. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. So after all that, I didn't get the surgery, and then Starbucks tried to basically pay, pay me out to quit. And you know they offered me a lump sum of cash to quit or to stay, and I ended up staying with Starbucks. I'm still there, awesome company. Blah blah blah, but my thumb doesn't work. And <laughs> can't do no thumb. Her Herbert's mom no longer sits on this thumb. <laughs> now it's my right hand. Uh, so Ronnie, any? <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I, I'll be the last one. But Ronnie, do you have any injuries? No, yeah, moving on. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I, I cannot think of anything. Bro, your knee always hurts. Me neither, to be honest. No, no, no well, okay, I, but that just hurts though. Like it's not an injury, like we talked about. I, just, honestly, I I never did any legs? sports or anything like that, and. No, there's no injury. You ever got a sprained ankle what, what playing? You okay, okay. There, when you stepped on your cat. No, I was gonna bring up. There was. Um, this was maybe what 2015. It was a surprise birthday party that you know all the boys here like try to celebrate with me, and I remember. I remember we're all here. My boy Christian that just talked right now. Um, he he ended up throwing me in the pool that night, and. As soon as I landed, yeah, I like um, I twisted my ankle, dude. So I remember I had to go to work the Did next I remember morning. That day. Yeah, so I wanted to pull. I twisted my ankle. I came out and I was like, dude, like I can't even walk. But that point though, I had a few drinks in me, so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. But I went inside. <laughs> I was like icing my freaking foot, and I was like, dude, I have work in like four hours. So I remember going to work, and I told him I was like, hey, like I sprained my ankle last night. I can't really move about because obviously, like yeah, when I used to work at Starbucks too. You're moving about, you're moving everywhere, you're making drinks, you're, like, heating up pastries, you're, like, ringing up, you know, like, people. So you're moving about, and I was, like, honestly, like, keep me on register, like, all day. Like, I don't care. Like, I cannot move. Like, I'm sorry. So, yeah, sure enough, four hours later, I went to work, and I stayed on register my whole shift. Was it but boring? No, actually, it was actually very cool. Yeah, yeah, It's less work, Wasn't I guess. that bad, yeah. So yeah, you got I mean, paid? it's usually busy, right? Huh? It's usually busy at Starbucks, yeah, so you yeah. always have it around. Yeah. I Wait. mean, if your thumb works, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Chris, uh, or Ronnie, were you mad at Chris? Because Chris threw you in the pool, right? Oh, yeah. Honestly, though, I'm glad you guys all took my phone, my wallet. I don't know why I gave it up so easily, too. And, and remember, you guys didn't take my phone, and my phone got ruined? Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you, you, you hold on to Chris. Oh, yeah, because you... Chris was only supposed to push me, but... I was like, no, motherfucker. Like, you're coming down <laughs> with me. Like, what the heck's going on Your here? thumb is going to go so, down with So I, I grabbed him. I put both thumbs in him, and I, like, dragged him down with me, man. So we both went down, and that was, like, Chris's, like, second or third phone that summer. I remember, dude. He was going through phones, like, left and right. Like, he broke. What did you have into the other phones? There's something so crazy. one got stolen at the gym. Yeah, yeah. Another one, did it fall off a car or something? No. I don't know. Something happened to the other one, and then the one that freaking Ronnie ruined. <laughs> it's like, so yeah, happy well, birthday to you, Ronnie. No, but, but yeah, was man. it the iPhone it was, like one or something? It was a great summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then, okay, let me just bring this up. Every time we had like uh, at the baddies, like well, before we were baddies because we were all high school friends. Every time we had like, I feel a, like we were baddies. We just didn't know it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like we always. I don't know why we celebrated Ronnie's birthday. 
for some reason, we all said like, I guess it's summer. I guess because yeah, like, I think it was mostly because it was summer. Because everyone's birthday was like, I guess mundane. But then it gets to Ronnie's birthday, and like, oh everybody gets makes it a wild party. Yeah, for some reason. Yeah, and then throw like we had like a, the whole flyer party. It wasn't yeah, a flyer. And, and then one of our friends who comes to the podcast, Mark. He ended up getting his girlfriend pregnant after Ronnie's party too. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm he's like, joking. He's joking. He's joking. Cut this. Joking, this, joking. Joking. Cut this. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep it in. But uh, uh, Rike, uh, he did. Your- <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did pull out. Hey, Rike, what was your? So, um, I've been trying to think of one, and I can't, I'm struggling to think of a, of a good injury. I guess that that qualifies, but the the biggest injury that really traumatized my entire life was when I was in middle school. Which let the record show, I've, I've always been faster than Jonathan, but I've, no. I've always been a really <laughs> A really like athletic kid playing all sorts of sports, and I ended up getting this thing on my on knee problems called Osgood Slaughter disease, and it sounds horrible. It sounds like I was gonna die, but it's nothing <laughs> serious. It was just the last name of the guy that found it, <laughs> like Wait, Osgood Slaughter. Slaughter on what? what it's is it's Osgood Slaughter. Osgood it, Slaughter. It, it sounds horrible. I know, but it's just like a bump on my knee, and 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 the doctor said it was because I was too active, and like let's say you run three miles, and immediately after you stop moving. So like I would do a lot of fitness and, and, and school and sports and, he, and as soon as I was done, I would just stop moving and rest. And he said that was very bad for the body. You have to cool down or your body kind of like freezes. So I ended up getting that and it sucked because I was entering high school. So I wasn't able to join football, to join wrestling, to join track. I, I, again, I play sports. I love sports and it ruined my, my chances in high school with that. So it, it took me three years of fighting there until my senior year after cheating on my after i grew the the courage to just lie on my on my physical and just convince people that it's true and then yeah i ended up joining track like and my wrestling too right? uh, well I, I think it was junior year i ended up joining track which is towards the end of the year and then that was a great way to start because it's conditioning and then i started with with football and then wrestling and then track again and then the marines um and then and then i guess afterwards <laughs> i joined the military but that's not the point like i had to lie to them too but like i guess that injury that the all school started on my knees which i still have now you can see it on my knees like it, it's it ruined most of my i guess high school experience but you know those guys that say like oh if i didn't have this injury i would have made it to the nfl that's the vibes <laughs> they're giving me right now. I, 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 ha- I didn't even claim I would do anything special. I, I, all I said is that I wanted to play sports and I, I would have really had a better experience in high so school. So does this injury prevent you from being faster than Jonathan? Or uh, No, now I'm, I'm I'm the best I've ever been. I can beat anybody at anything. So. Oh my gosh. No, no, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm healthier now. They, they still hurt sometimes, but like it doesn't stop me because I, I just keep a good eye on it because anyone with an injury should be careful with their injuries. Like don't. Don't get cocky. Don't overdo it. Don't make it worse. Always keep your eye on it so it doesn't get worse. Wait, so once a cheater, always a cheater, though, right? I, I didn't cheat, though. You said you cheat. You cheated on the test or whatever you did. It. Like, are you lying? You just lied. No, yeah, I, I, wow. I just signed Damn. it. That's not You're lying. Liar, if this was a polygraph, you wouldn't pass. <laughs> no, I passed because I proved myself. I was able to perform in all these three sports magnificently. But, like, I remember when you started football and all that, like, you're good, like, cause you're fast, like you you have speed and stuff. And I remember you started like senior year, and you, like, your face was just like, bro, I want to play. Like, I remember, cause you know, you're hungry. Always, yeah, you're hungry for like success or whatever. I remember, you know? I remember me and uh, Enrique used to play at JV our senior years, and we would just <laughs> fucking slaughter people. We just have fun, like, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I'm, I'm I'm just naturally good at sports. So like, I really hated to see that I was competing with the seniors and, and the varsity team because I was like, dude, if I even played two years of football or whatever sport. I would have I would have been up there, but because I was like a first year player, I, I didn't I didn't qualify to be like a to, to to get any playing time. So that that really hurt me more because I really wish I would have started playing since freshman year. Wait, um, but okay, so when you do workouts now, because your knee, right? You do workouts right now. Let's say we go hit the gym, we do squats, Bulgarian squats, all these like workouts. It, it doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't bother me anymore. That's weird because you still have the bump. Well, well because I, 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 the bump is there. I, like, like kind of like he was saying about a surgery. Like I talked about it, and, and and they said they can fix it so it looks flat. But that's just a visual thing. They said like it'll look flat, but like it's not like nothing changes. It's just like a visual thing. So I was like, so, okay, so if I don't feel pain and the surgery just costs money for nothing, then I don't need a surgery. So I didn't get the surgery. So if you look at my knees, I'll have a bump, but like. It's nothing that stops me. So it's never going to grow or like anything like that? Well, I mean, as worse. of now, like when I, when I get a job soon, I, I plan on, on joining my, my <laughs> no, I, I want to join my, my my sport again of, of MMA. So I'll, I'll see if it hurts then. But until then, I think I'll, I'll be fine. I'm fine now. 
I can work out heavy and then max out and it doesn't bother me. So would it be an advantage during MMA since like you need people? Like that oh, little yeah. extra. Uh, well, you don't we hit with do that Muay part Thai, of the right? name. No, Muay Thai. <laughs> it's it's Muay Thai, Thai Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, boxing. There's an extra bump. wrestling. Do you want to show the class your knees right now? Um, <laughs> I, I I would love to show the people on the podcast, but they can't see it. So when somebody says get on your knees, do you only get on one? Uh, well, I'm a little more elevated because I'm higher. So oh, oh one knee. <laughs> no, but uh, but uh, moving on though with me. Uh, you want to hear? Uh, yeah, I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert, do you want to hear? Yeah, go back no, to actually, you, Herbert. No, actually, <laughs> who went? You guys went to high school, uh, middle school with me, right? Ronnie. With you. All of us, except except Chris. Chris, yeah. you went to. Uh, oh, yeah, Chris center. went to a different middle center, school. Center, yeah. So Chris went to a different one. But I, I don't know if you guys remember, I had crutches in middle school. You guys probably don't. <laughs> uh, and uh, basically, I, I used to skate. Or I used to do everything because I was always, always athletic too. Better than I was faster than Enrique. Ball he ball. never was. But... Uh, Ricky, let me talk, please. But, uh, you know, uh, so I used to skate. I used to skate. And then I don't know why. Like, literally, do you know when, like, when it, when it's, like, really starts sprinkling, like, I guess, like, this, it's kind of slippery a little bit. But, like, you know, that didn't really matter. But I remember I was going, like, it was about to rain, and I was going to my friend Christian's house. And I'm riding, like, literally two houses down. I get on my skateboard. Like, two houses down, like, you know how like some curves or like the cement sometimes it lives because of like the oh, roots, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah the, the sidewalk pavement, the sidewalk, or yeah, because of roots or something. Well, every time I'll see like a, a little li- a little like you know lift, like w- not even a quarter inch, like I'll like pop the back and it'll kind of like hit the back and it'll, it'll be like a little ollie, like a little like lo- like a little jump. You just prevent the front tires from hitting the, yeah, the so lift, I, so you don't fall. Yeah, so I'll kind of like like do like a little jump with my skateboard. So I remember doing that and now. I'm, I don't know how I landed, but I landed like wrong, and I I sprained my ankle like hard, like to like it was disgusting. Like I, no one was behind me, nobody nobody saw me, but it was like two houses down, and I like I don't know. I think yeah, I started limping back home like with the one leg, and then I like I started like I don't know. I started crying. This was middle school, so I started crying. It's, it's okay to cry even if you're older. Just saying, that's true. Right, right. right. But I started crying, and then I I was telling my mom. And I guess my mom was trying to figure out what happened. Like, ¿Qué pasó, mijo? You know. And then I was like, Oh, mi, mi pata. And then like I think I left my skateboard over there because I said, Screw the skateboard. I, I'm going home, which is two houses down. And then they, my mom finally like put me on the like couch, and then my brother's girlfriend like said like Oh, like like it's gonna get swollen. And I was like, oh, she's like, she's lying. You know, I don't know. I was like, I, I never heard of like stuff getting swollen, right? Bro, <laughs> my ankle. This was this pee puberty? Dude, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, my ankle was, it was like a, it was like a softball, dude. Like a softball. <laughs> like my ankle was like, it was bad. So to the point where I was like, what the hell? And I started looking at it and I start, you know, you start tripping. As a kid, you start tripping out more. Even though it wasn't hurting. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So did, did it get bigger when you played with it or no? <laughs> no, but and then my dad ended up like you touched it too. <laughs> that's, not, that's not right, bro. <laughs> no, my dad was there. <laughs> you guys are close family. Huh? <laughs> oh, you guys are not making me. All okay, right, hold on. All right, let me breathe. But <laughs> so my parents ended up. Um, I guess what happened was like after you got, like, I got stolen. Yeah, like, yeah, like. <laughs> you told the whole family. <laughs> He's already tickled. He can't talk. Let's give him a minute. Look, look. Wait, where was your brother in this? Well, while he catches his breath, let him catch his breath. But um, I think I I, rem- I remember part a part of this no, a little bit no, where no, I think your dad put ice on it. No. Yeah. They, well, they, they they did all the like you know the sana sana colita They uh, did all that. But then I, I ended up finding out that my dad like I don't know if he didn't have like he was like jobless at that time or he had like part time jobs. That we didn't have insurance, so we ended up going to. Do you guys remember that uh, hospital? It was called like. Um, where, where they massage you? No, no, no. It was a hospital that the. Well, I'm gonna say this, but like in middle school, you know how we do health class, or like in high school, and then they give free condoms at this. It was like a. Oh yeah. It was one in West Covina. Dude, I like always Planned thought, Parenthood. Yeah. I no. always thought I was gonna use one of those. I never. Did. No. <laughs> no. Like, you went to Planned Parenthood? No, no. no <laughs> it was a clinic. No, it was a clinic. It was, a cl- no. it was like a hospital <laughs> in West Covina called like a. Like, it was like a, like a community center or whatever. Yeah, it was like yeah. hospital. Because F- hosp- FYI, there is a Planned Parenthood in West Covina. Just that all. Well, I don't even know that. Well, maybe it you changed. would know. How do you know that, Ronnie? <laughs> no, well, yeah. continue with Jonathan. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, but that, I ended up going there, and I guess my uh, they ended up giving me like um, like you know, like the crutches for sure, or I ended up paying for them, whatever. Oh, my my dad paid for them, and then they gave me like a little like casket, like thing, like a, like the one that you could put on so it could stay still. And then, um, yeah, so I was like, 
so mind you, you're in middle school. And you're like, bro, like I don't want to go with crutches to school because you always see someone with crutches. Like, bro, they're they're. Did people sign your your little? No, I didn't have his casket. That's why I, I told him I didn't want a casket. Like, <laughs> but that the, that was before Zoom or anything. You know, like you couldn't do online classes. No, we couldn't do online classes. And and then not, not only that, I had so I had to walk around Slauson. And you guys know I used to play in middle school, like the band. So imagine going into band, like like in going up because there's like stairs because that's like. Like in a in a band class, it's like there's stairs because that's like not stairs, but like kind of levels, so you can sit like in different levels, so like like the audio could get through. But I remember going in there, but a lot of people since, since I was like not popular, but I knew a lot of like different groups of like friends. They used to call me like some of the bull, not bullies, but like the people that used to be like, all right, like what's up, man? Like they're, they're cool, the cool kids. They'll be like tink tink, like because you know when you come in through. Like when you're coming through it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know with the with the crutches, they'll be like ting ting ting, you know what I mean. So they call me like, hey, ting ting, what's up, man? Like you're coming through. But so you're telling us about an ex- about being bullied and the experience of you being bullied. Yeah, no, hold on, no, it was injury too. But overall, though, that was like, I don't know. I, I guess like you know when they say when you get older, like if whatever injury you had before, like sometimes when like you could, you could feel it later or whatever they say, but sometimes when it's cold. Like some, my ankle kind of, I'm not saying it hurts. Like, oh my God, it's bad. Like it hurts a little bit, like to the point where I'm like, oh no, no. Like I know this happened a long time ago, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I had to maybe warm it up. I guess it takes longer to warm up than the other ankle, but that's like the only injury I ever had. So other than that, like I've been blessed to this day, but yeah, it's scary. So, so with you being the last one telling you, telling us about the injuries, it's kind of like a message to share here. where like, even through all our injuries, we're still able to be the baddies and perform the way we do. So we want to send the message to people to like, stay motivated. Like even, even if you get injured, like treat it, you know what I mean? Like take care of it and don't give up on fitness and, uh, and your goals. And, and I think though is like, yeah, don't give up on fitness, but like take rest, like take a rest time. Like sometimes a lot of people say like, Oh no, like, you know, I, I feel left out or like, you know, like I, I, I don't want to like, I want to do every like hike this year. Yeah. Like FOMO is okay, guys. Like, you know? Yeah. Like I'm just saying like, you don't have to, like you could, the mount is always going to be there or whatever is yeah. always going to be there or even contact or talk to someone and then like try to recover as soon as possible. I think just resting is the best thing, right? Like resting your body, like, like your body, your body is powerful. Your body can do like a lot of good things, right? So I feel like if you if you give it what it needs, and you do like uh, I never done any uh, what are those uh, you said uh, the PT or the physical therapy oh, physical therapy I never yeah. done any of that, but I know it's it, it helps because you know they go to school. I've, I've also tried um uh, what's the one they put the needles in you, um, what is it called uh, Acu- acupuncture. acupuncture? Yeah, I did acupuncture for my sciatica, and I did it maybe like twice a week for like four weeks, and it actually helped a lot. Pretty pretty cool. I mean, it's a uh, what is what what's that type of a uh, Natural medicine. What Na- what's that type of natural medicine called? Um, holistic. Oh, you know, yeah. it's a holistic approach. I know you know the science may not back it up or anything, but you know, give it a shot. It's like when your parents put vaporu on you. That's pretty holistic. Brujeria. Brujeria. Yeah. <laughs> they all. No. They, don't they like rub the egg on you to get all the bad vibes or something? No, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's yeah. the limpia right there. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what brujeria is, whatever yeah. brujeria is, it's um witchcraft. Yeah, yeah so. but I, I just feel like do that? witchcraft. Like any any family? No, we don't. We don't do witchcraft. But I, no. but I, but I feel like, uh, no, I feel like going back with the injury though, like for us, it's like, it's scary. And not only that, we've been noticing, you know, we've been seeing the whole Mount Baldy stuff, man. It's 14 people or more like to this day being like rescued throughout the, like just winter season. And, um, it's crazy. Cause it's gotten so bad where the, the city is willing to put a permit for that hike. Cause people don't know how to pay attention to safety stuff. And you're risking the life of the people trying to rescue you, which is, which is putting them in danger. So it's just crazy because the dangerous conditions on Mount Baldy have prompted the San Bernardino County Sheriff Department to work with legislators to create a strict permitting process to hike in this area. I just Imagine. read that somewhere from Instagram, but but that's what's going on. They're, they're trying to put a permit on that on that mountain because people don't listen to safety warnings. And they're either getting injured or dying, which is a horrible thing. And they're also risking the lives of the rescuers because it is hard conditions to rescue people in. The so. winds, like we talk about, the winds were 60 miles per hour. And it's like, sometimes you, you, the visibility is not there because, you know, it's snowing at the time. So you don't see, you can't see that far. So imagine that, like, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, like, you know, I always say like me and Enrique are all about the whole, like, you know, go and get that go kill it, you know, like go, like get the adrenaline, you know, going. Cause me and Enrique love doing stuff like that, but safety first. 
yeah, we don't have, I don't have the gear, and Enrique doesn't have the gear. And I'll probably tell Enrique, like, no, let, we're not going to go, like, straight up. Like, and unless we buy the gear, which costs, like, a couple thousand dollars, then we'll go. But other than that, like, I will tell him not go. Like, for what? Even he said, he told me, like, what? I don't want to go. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, for what? Like, can we do it? Yes, probably. Can, can we succeed? Yeah, probably. But, like, I don't need to find out. Like, I don't need to prove anything to nobody. Like, I think my safety and the people I care about matter more than me trying to prove that I can hike Mount Baldy in winter. Like, I can, snow, yeah. So, so like, I, I think just being prepared is better because if you, <laughs> the quote. And then uh, one thing about talking about uh, injuries, though. Me and Enrique, we talked about this in a previous, like a long time ago podcast. We did like a own little uh, research or like own little like you know project. Was that we ended up cy- we cycled for how long? We cycled for a hundred miles. We done that long distance. We ran for fifty k, fifty k, which is like thirty one point something miles. We and then we hiked for twenty two. What's the most that takes the most impact on your body? It was for sure running. I think I would say running, yeah. I think running was the most impactful on the body because I think the, the stomping, all the vibrations, I think running 30 miles was like just, just painful on the body. Hiking, you're walking. It's super slow pace. But cycling, cycling is not even that you're, bad. You're on a machine, basically, and you're just pedaling in circles. So, like, like the only thing that hurts is, is your butt because that's where all your weight is at. But, like, your leg pedaling, that's all muscle work. Like, it's all, it's all muscle for the pedaling. It's just your, your weight's on, on your butt. So, I, I would definitely say that running those 30 miles was, like, the most painful thing on the body. Like, I... Like, you know, I always tell Enrique, like, every time I do, like, I did a century, I always tell Enrique, hey, bro, I could run, like, five miles. Like, literally, when we ran those 30 miles, and you guys were there, Ronnie and Herbert, you guys saw, like, we are kind of tired. And I don't know why, you guys saw my body, I was sweating, but I was sweating some white liquid, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember Dude, that. I had some white liquid. Like, wait, salt, where right? was it coming out from? Uh, my leg. Wait, that was from, <laughs> no, it's from the swollen area. Oh, wait, how many legs do you have? Uh, two. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it could have been lotion. It could have been anything. But no, like, we were just w- sweating so much from everywhere. It was just crazy. I think yeah. it was. I looked it up. I think it's um your salt. Was I don't know. Salt? It's something in your body. Yeah, yeah. that we, was my guess. We sweat so much. I we were even sweating were out things sweating we weren't supposed to. Was sweat. this during the summer? Uh, I didn't what, notice uh, it. Occasion. Yeah. When was it? When was it? Last year. But it wasn't no. the summer. It no. wasn't like a summer. spring or. It was like fall. Oh okay. But I remember when we did it. Uh, it was the temperature wasn't hot. It wasn't hot. It was cloudy day. So we got lucky. Because, you know, when it's sunny, it's like you need more nutrition, mm-hmm. more water or whatever, right? No more supply. But uh, like we always said, like Herbert and Ronnie like helped us. So me and Enrique were in Omar. We were happy because um, they were there. They even took like a, what are those like the massage guns, the terror guns, or, like one of those. And they were like giving us a massage. But and then like after that, uh, when we kept running, we like we we up, uh, we drank a lot of water and everything. But then I started sweating. And that's when the white thing and I was tripping out. I was like, but then we looked it up, and it was like, I guess the salt. I don't know if I took too much salt, but we were taking just goo, though, you know, the little goo like energy, yeah. which is like some. You guys didn't have like any like little snacks or is no, that, we, was that kind of a snack? The yeah. fruit, yeah. yeah, fruit like watermelon, but that doesn't oh, okay. have salt. It yeah, we had pineapple, sugar. watermelon. We had bananas. We had like uh-huh. some candy for sugar. We had we we had checkpoints where Ronnie and Herbert were like there. I think Did your brother was there like, too. W- don't you need like salt know. too? I mean, I'm not, I'm not well informed. Well, yeah, we, we the, all, all those things have a lot of salt think, for that reason. Okay. Did you guys buy uh, Gatorade? Yeah, they, they had, had Powerade. Yeah, they had Powerade. Uh, and had I Powerade. was drinking those, yeah. but it, it was the first time though. It's like it's weird. My body was reacting different because I never gave, I never gone, gone like past like 13 miles. And that day when I did 31, it's like a lot, right? Like 20 more miles. And um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. How did you feel the day after? I felt good, but like. I don't know. I just felt sore. I just felt different than, like I said, the other workouts that we done, like the long distance cycling, the long distance hiking. I just felt like my body took a beat. Like literally, like my body, like I felt like it, like I was like, like, like yes, your yeah. muscles were were tired and sore, but it wasn't just muscle. It was like like your knees hurt, like your joints hurt, your like your your ligaments hurt, like things hurt that don't normally hurt. But yeah, we're you know what I mean. Like some something that I want to bring it up is uh, do not skip like train for it. Like the only reason why me and Enrique did this, <laughs> and I, could, I probably could have got injured. I, like be honest with you, I probably could have got injured, but I didn't. At some point, I wanted to stop. Like at twenty six, I just wanted to hit the marathon because I never would have done it. Like have mar- uh, I only did a half marathon beforehand, but I just wanted to hit the marathon. But yeah, train. I'm gonna be honest with you. Train. Do not do what me and Enrique do because like I don't know we were. We were crazy or something, but I, we just skipped skip to the 50K, which is like, why? You know, for what? We so just wanted to do it first. Who did it faster? You and Enrique? Yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. Both. 
We did at the same time. We hold hands too. Wait, uh, you guys just from like half a marathon jump right into the 50K. 50K yeah. Which That's is not crazy. recommended. People don't yeah, recommend that. People that run marathons don't even do that. Yeah. But you know what? Something that I want to bring up just like to like top it off is that we hit the gym. So we kind of stay active. We've been active for a while. And it's like kind of helps us in a way that it kind of limits us from injury. Reason why is because we work out a whole body. Yes, I, I, I so. agree with that a thousand percent. Like, yes, we didn't train for it, but we, we also have a fit body. Like, if we were just runners and you and we would have did what so. we did, we would have got injured. But because we work out our bodies, I think it, it helped us do those 30 miles compared to just runners. So, question. I know I don't partake in your guys' like gym workouts or like your big runs, except like maybe Wednesdays when you guys go. But what about stretching? Like, what do you guys do when it comes to stretching? I know you guys talk about working out, taking care of yourself. So stretching is just as important as resting. Like, do you guys do that after the gym too? Do you before, have during, days? after. Like flexibility? Like The only time I stretch, and you're going to be laughing, is when I do legs. Mm -hmm. Like, I stretch a little bit more. You kind of, Ronnie sees me. Sometimes I, like, lift my leg and I put it, like, where the scart rack, sometimes on the sides and, like, the safety bars mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. I do that. But with the other stuff, I kind of do start stretching now with, like, chest and stuff. Like, I just look like some, like, you know, oh, my shoulders too, because my shoulders are kind of hurting. So I kind of stretch, but I should get better at stretching. I wanted to do yoga and I do have a Pilates, Pilates machine. So I want to do the Pilates mm. reformer because that's good stretching. Um, I always wanted to be that type of guy. Like we talked about this a while back, doing like the splits in the middle of like the dance floor. That's Imagine hot. that's like yeah. dope, right? <laughs> especially because you're, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you're like double cheeked up. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Imagine said. the noise that would happen if he does the splits automatically. Oh, yeah, I just, please. you know what I mean? But, yeah, I just, I don't know. Just take care of your body, though, for us. Give it what it needs. Like, if you're injured, like, don't be, like, don't. Um, I know people get mad at their at themselves. Like, you know, just don't do that. I know Gus is back up and running, and he got injured. He did Spartan race. Uh, Ronnie, did you see that? He did the Spartan race. And um, he's back up. I guess he's almost 100%. Um, ever since he got injured in Mexico and he came back and he got injured again. Remember, he kept getting injured. So, you know, I'm hoping Gus is back to normal sooner than later because he has, like, big plans for this year for big hikes. And I know he he's uh, he has, uh, the like, the cardio and he's going to the gym now. So, I don't know. But we do want to bring something up, though. Stay tuned. I think we're going to do something for Super Bowl Sunday. So, keep a lookout in the morning, though, in the morning. Uh, we might bring out the flowers sooner than later. We're going to talk about it here at the baddies headquarters, but thank you guys so much for whoever joined us for the ginger shop for this month. Guess what? It's February already. January passed by so fast. It felt like a year for us. I don't know. It, it, it just, it was a blur, but, uh, stay tuned. Cause we are going to do some group hikes sooner than later. Uh, some maybe pop-up hikes, right? Ronnie and workouts two in the morning, right? Let us know whoever comes at 5 a.m. Yeah, exactly, guys. Honestly, just keep it up. Uh, two thumbs up from the baddies, except Chris. Obviously, just one there. And then uh, just keep going. Yeah. All right, guys. And, and like I said, uh, you know, Instagram, we have the reels. TikTok, we have the workouts. And I've been posting more workouts. I kind of want to give you guys more of a, like what we eat, too. I want to post some, some like protein like uh, recipes because I know I've been talking to Ronnie about the protein stuff that I've been drinking, like the protein shakes, what I put on my proteins shake. But, uh, yeah, and then we have the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. So stay tuned. Happy February, and let's get this going. Talk to you guys soon.